Yo, what is going on guys? It is Kobe and today I have the conclusion of the How to Get Diamond Camos Fast series. So far I've gone over the Assault Rifles, SMGs, Snipers, Shotguns, and finally we are going to be taking a look at the LMGs. If you missed any of those past episodes, you can click the links on screen or I'll have a link to the whole playlist in the description so you can watch all of them one after another. But anyways, getting into this, the LMGs in Black Ops 2 are really nothing like we've seen in the past. And what I mean by that is that they're actually really, really good. You could even argue overpowered. They have incredibly strong damage, close range and long range, a massive ammo capacity and a surprisingly low recoil. The only negative effect that they really have is that they're really slow while moving and aiming in. So with that being said, this is basically my favorite class with all four LMGs. For the perks, Lightweight, Toughness, and Dexterity are all absolutely mandatory. Without Lightweight, you just feel way too slow. With it, you pretty much feel like you have an assault rifle movement speed wise. As you saw from my last video, Toughness is another mandatory perk, especially when going for headshots. Without it, you just flinch way too much when you're hit, makes it impossible to get headshots. But when you have Toughness equipped, you can just aim right for the chest, and if you get shot, your aim will go directly to the enemy's head, which is obviously what you want. Dexterity you also really need, it just takes way too long to start firing your weapon without it. And for that last perk, this one's all up to you. Flak Jacket, Tack Mask are also two good options. You could even put on some grenades, you know, it's all up to you. For attachments, these are my three go-to ones right here. Quick Draw, your favorite attachment, Target Finder, and Silencer. Quick Draw is another one of those must-have mandatory selections for your loadout. Aiming is just way too slow without it. Quick Draw will reduce the draw time by 25%, and trust me, it really helps. You definitely need that attached. For Target Finder, I get that a lot of you think it's newbie or whatever, and I definitely think it's pretty cheap from long range. I think all it really needs is a range nerf that decreases the distance that it actually locks onto people. But for me, I really like that it decreases the weapon sway, and that helps a lot when you're going for headshots, and camping in the back of the spawn with it isn't even that effective. What you want to do is get to the power positions near the middle of the map or in a high traffic area and just kill enemies as they run by because the one thing you do not want to do or at least attempt to avoid is running into an enemy while sprinting because like I said earlier the draw time is just massive and that can get you killed a lot. So yeah there's my ideal class setup for the LMGs. If you don't have something unlocked yet you can of course trade it for other perks or attachments and if you want to proceed your weapon but keep all your attachments there is a way to do that as well. I already made a video on that little neat trick. I'll leave a link to that in the description of the video if you guys haven't seen that yet. As for how you should play while going for the different challenges, I don't want to say campy, but post up, find a head glitch or somewhere with a good amount of cover, but find a spot where you'll actually encounter a lot of enemies. You will have a lot of bullets to spare before you have to reload, and again, the bullets are just so strong, you really won't have any problem just mowing multiple people down in one spray. Other than that, the LMGs are fairly easy to get diamond camo for, the biggest challenge probably with them is probably getting the kills without perks and attachments, because without quick draw and lightweight, you just feel so slow, so while you're going for those, maybe camp back a little more, try not to move as much, because you're honestly pretty screwed if you get caught sprinting, but other than that, they should be a breeze. So there you go guys, all 5 primary weapon classes diamond. That took a great amount of time to get, so if you could leave a like rating, I would really appreciate it. Literally days were spent working towards these camos, so any support you guys could give is awesome. I often get comments complimenting me or giving me props for actually playing the game, because a lot of tips and tricks guys out there barely even play, even the big guys, and I think these diamond camos back up the statement a ton. I play the game, I work at the game to have fun, but also to make videos as accurate and as helpful and as credible as possible. So thank you guys for watching. If you missed any of them, again, I'll put a link to the playlist in the description. I have seen some comments asking me to go for the secondaries and specials, but these took a ton of time to get. I probably would go for them if all these Diamond Camo videos hit something crazy like 500 likes. That would probably be enough motivation to go out there and get everything else Diamond. But uh, that's on you guys. That's all up to you. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, all likes and favorites are crazy appreciated. Check out my last two videos if you missed them. They're both for my new series I started up. So check those out if you want. Twitter and other links in the description. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.